Hello, hello everyone. I hope all is well. I am here outside just relaxing with Skywalker and trying to keep them as calm as possible. I see these found something of interest, but no Sky. You can't do that, no. It has been a challenge these past few months keeping this guy calm. Starting back in January, uh, Sky started limping and we took him to the vet and they said that, oh, could be some growing pains, could be that he injured himself. It looks like he has a little inflammation on his left knee. So we said, okay, well, we'll do what we got to do. And um, where are you going, buddy? When we took him to the vet back in January, they said that he may have injured himself, had some inflammation on his left knee, and gave us an anti-inflammatory, and we went on our way. Well, he did not start getting better. As a matter of fact, he looked like he was getting worse. So we took him to, we couldn't get back to that vet because, oh my goodness, I don't know if you've been trying to make vet appointments lately, but there have been lots of people who've got new pets, including us, and there's just been really hard to get appointments. Anyway, we got another appointment with a different vet, and uh, they said they withdrew, some of the, they withdrew fluid from his knee, both knees, and said that he definitely has inflammation on both of his knees and recommended that we take him to see a surgical specialist. And that is what we did today. And unfortunately, we found out today that Skywalker has what the equivalent in a, in a human being would be two torn ACLs. That's not what it's called in a dog, but in a human being, it's equivalent to two torn ACLs and both of his knees, which his knees are in this area right here. This is like, hey, bud, I know, I know, buddy. He is going to require surgery, and um, it's very unfortunate. It is an expensive surgery, especially for both knees, but... He is a young, healthy dog, and we just feel that this is something that we have to do for him, even though it is very expensive. This is just something that we have to do. He is just, he's part of our family, and um, we want to have this done for him. They would basically put a pen in both his knees, shave down the bone a little bit, put a pen in so that it doesn't slide back and forth like it is currently. So that's what I understand of the procedure, but he needs it done for both knees that we feel we have to do because like I said he's a young healthy dog and he's a he's a member of our family and we love him and we just can't imagine just putting him down because of this unfortunate situation it's nothing he did it's just it, the doctor said it could be you know just unfortunately poor genetics or or just you know misfortune um, but it's just one of those things we have put together a GoFundMe page for Skywalker if you would like to help out please feel free to click on the link in the description and uh, if you'd like to help out with the donation it would be greatly appreciated we're just uh, gonna do what we have to do to make this happen for our guy cuz uh, he's like I said he's a member of the family so we're gonna get him fixed up but if any of you can help out it'd be greatly appreciated well thank you for stopping by the homestead today and getting an update on Skywalker and we just hope that all of you keep him in your prayers so that he can get better. So that's it for today, folks. But as always, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Until next time, bye-bye.